Hello everyone. Today in this module we are going to talk about plant hormone cytokinin. Cytokinins are an important class of plant hormones which were discovered in the 50s mainly for their ability to divide the cells in cultured cells. The first cytokinin to be identified was in 1955 which was known as kinetin. This was purified from an autoclaved DNA of herring sperm and calf thymus. The name kinetin was proposed because it helps in cell division or cytokinesis. Cytokinins have an important role in the plant's development and growth, mainly in germination, root and shoot growth, and leaf senescence. Cytokinins also modulate plant responses to light and pathogen stress. The learning objectives of this module are the structure of cytokinin, biosynthesis and metabolism, inactivation and transport of cytokinin, signaling, the application of cytokinin in the regulation of cell cycle and application of cytokinin in the regulation of meristematic activity. Cytokinins are plant growth regulators that consist of adenine substituted at the N6 position with isopentyl group, hydroxylated isopentyl group or a benzyl ring. The first cytokinin discovered had a furfural substitution and was called kinetin because of its ability to induce cell division. Cytokinins play an important role in regulating shoot and root growth, retarding leaf senescence and in modulating light responses of plants. In this slide we are going to talk about cytokinin biosynthesis. The isopentenyl side chain of the cytokinin isopentenyl adenine is added to adenine ribonucleotides by the enzyme isopentenyl transferase or IPT. The ribose sugar or sugar phosphates are removed by phosphoribohydroxylases. Another cytokinin zeatin is synthesized in two ways either by hydroxylation of the isopentyl group on adenine ribonucleotides by cytochrome P450 monooxygenases or by directly adding the hydroxylated side chain by IPT. Zeatin mainly exists as a trans isomer but in some plants the cis isomer is formed by zeatin isomerase. Zeatin also exists in the reduced form as dihydrozeatin. Let's talk about the transport forms of cytokinins and how cytokinins are degraded. Cytokinins are converted to glucose conjugates by the activity of n glucosyl transferases of orthoglucosyl transferases. The sugar derivatives are inactive and constitute the main transport forms for this hormone. Permanent degradation of cytokinins is brought about by a dehydrogenase which separates the isopentyl side chain from adenine. The location of cytokinin enzyme in plant cells. The isopentyl transferases are present in the plastids mitochondria and cytosol. Plastids are thought to be the main site for cytokinin synthesis. Cytokinin dehydrogenases which degrade cytokinins are mainly localized to the apoplast, vacuoles and cytoplasm. Hence cytokinin synthesis and metabolism occurs in multiple cellular compartments. Let's talk about the cytokinin transport. Cytokinins may be active at their sites of synthesis or may be transported over long distances as glucosides. Zeatin type cytokinins are known to be transported through the xylem 
from roots to shoots. The transporters for cytokinins present in the roots belong to the ATP binding cassette or ABC family of transporters. These transporters move the cytokinins into xylem from the neighboring cells of the steel. Mutants defective in these transporters show poor shoot development. The IP type cytokinins are synthesized in the shoot and transported via the phloem through specific nucleoside transporters to other parts of the plant. Cytokinin signaling At the site of action, cytokinins are perceived by transmembrane proteins that have a CHASE domain on the outer side and kinase domain on the cytosolic side. Cytokinins bind to the chase domain and this activates the histidine kinase that autophosphorylates the protein. Phosphorylate then occurs from the phosphorylated histine to an aspartate molecule that is a part of the same protein. Change in conformation of cytokinin receptor leads to binding of another protein called the histidine transfer protein or AHP to this receptor and the phosphate group is transferred to AHP. Phosphorylated AHP then moves to the nucleus and transfers the phosphate group to either type B response regulators or type A response regulators. Phosphorylated type B ARRs are positive regulators of the cytokinin response and bind to the promoters of cytokinin response genes, leading to their transcription. On the other hand, type A ARRs then phosphorylated by AHP act as negative regulators of cytokinin responses probably because they reduce phosphotransfer from AHP to type B ARRs. Type B ARRs also lead to transcription of type A ARR genes which serve in attenuating expression of cytokinin response genes. Besides the type B ARR regulated cytokinin responses, phosphorylated AHP can activate transcription factors called cytokinin response factors or CRFs by phosphorylating them. The phosphorylated CRFs then move to the nucleus and bring about transcriptional regulation of cytokinin response genes. The genes activated by type B ARRs and CRFs are mostly non-overlapping, suggesting two independent pathways of activation of cytokinin response genes. An important role of cytokinins is in the regulation of the cell cycle. The cell cycle consists of four phases with two gap phases separating the S phase during which DNA synthesis occurs and the M phase where mitosis occurs. Cytokinin levels are seen to increase transiently during the beginning of S and the M phase, suggesting their role in regulating progression of the cell cycle. G1S transition occurs by association of D-type cyclins with A-type cyclin dependent kinase, which brings about the phosphorylation and inactivation of retinoblastoma related protein or RBR. This relieves the expression of E2F transcription factors that positively regulate transition to S phase. Cytokinins play a role in increasing the expression of D-type cyclin genes. During G2M transition, Cytokinins promote the activity of a cyclin phosphatase CDC25 which dephosphorylates the A and B type cyclin dependent kinase and promotes its association with 
B type cyclins. The CDK cyclin B complex regulates the transition of cell cycle to the mitotic or M phase. Cytokinins also have an important role in shoot apical meristem maintenance. By regulating the cell cycle and promoting cell division, cytokinins play an important role in forming and maintaining function of the shoot apical meristem. Through phosphorylate, cytokinin brings about transcriptional regulation of the Wuschel gene that is expressed in the organizing center of the shoot apical meristem. The Wuschel protein in turn inhibits ARR5 and ARR7, both of which represent type B response regulators. Hence, the cytokinin signal is modulated by Wuschel. Another protein, Clavata, which is expressed in the region above the organizing center, restricts Wuschel expression by inhibiting its expression in this region. Cytokinins can also induce new meristems from differentiated cells. Let's talk about the role of cytokinin in tissue culture. The ability of cytokinins to induce new meristems is best seen during the process of organogenesis. When a plant part like the hypocotyl is placed on a medium supplemented with similar concentrations of auxins and cytokinins, the parenchymatous cells de-differentiate and re-differentiate to form a homogeneous tissue called callus. The pathogenic bacteria, Agrobacterium tumefaciens, is known to induce genes for auxin and cytokinin biosynthesis into plant cells. The genetically transformed cells grow to form callus, which leads to crown gall disease. If callus is transferred to a medium having high concentration of cytokinin, new shoot buds develop from the callus tissue which give rise to shoots. This process involves the de novo formation of meristems in response to cytokinin signaling. This property of cytokinins is exploited in the tissue culture technique for micropropagation of plants. Cytokinins also play an important role in the development of vasculature in plants. Cytokinin signaling also regulates root development. In a cytokinin signaling mutant, wooden leg root growth is generally root growth is highly introduced and root vascular elements are reduced. The development of root vasculature involves crosstalk between auxin and cytokinin signaling. Auxin signaling induces expression of the cytokinin signaling inhibitor AHP6 which inhibits cytokinin signaling in the protoxylin regions. In procambial cells, however, cytokinin signaling leads to the organization of auxin efflux transporters, one compound of which are the pin proteins in regions that specify the radial pattern of roots. Hence, cytokinin and auxin signaling appears to restrict the expression of different vascular elements in mutually exclusive domains. Next, we'll talk about the role of cytokinins in root vasculature development. Cytokinins also alter cell cycle progression in the root meristems. In the meristematic regions, cytokinins inhibit auxin signaling and promote cytokinesis. However, in the transition region between the meristem and elongation zone, cytokinin signaling leads to bring about endoreduplication rather than cytokinesis in the cells of this region. Hence, cytokinins show opposite effects in regulating the progression of cell cycle in these root zones. To summarize, 
We can say that cytokinins are indispensable for a plant's growth and development. Cytokinins regulate meristematic activity and differentiation of cells, giving the plant its form. In horticulture, cytokinins are used to increase the thickness of plants, making the plants bushier. Many physiological functions are regulated by cytokinins like iron uptake, senescence and flowering time. Many cytokinesis effects are mediated through crosstalk with auxins. In horticulture also cytokinins are very important and they can manipulate plants form and function. Thank you.